Thank you. How you doing? Lowell Pettit. Oh boy, today I was sitting around in my room. I'd gone to brunch, I'd done everything, I was watching the news and I'm pacing around and I was doing my, what uh, the hell am I gonna do at moon work tonight thing. I was checking and rechecking my email and I'm going over stuff in my head and I started to write little notes down here in the book. Uh, trying to think of something and trying to think of something that relates to the holiday season. And I kept coming upon this story that has nothing to do with the holiday season. And I was thinking, Shulu, you can't do that. You can't, uh, you can't tell that story. This is kind of a bragger story. In fact, I've never told it to women. It's a kind of a bragger story that you tell to guys. <laughs> but like any bragger story, you stop halfway through. But I'm going to go with the whole thing tonight. I was doing stand-up at, at a club. Uh, it was at Gotham Comedy Club. And uh, I, was, I was emceeing the show, and I kept coming up in between. And I was doing my hitting on a woman in the front row kind of thing. Like, hey, what are you doing? Huh? I look pretty good tonight, don't I? OK, anyway, next act tonight. <laughs> and, and I do that throughout the show. And it, it's kind of fun. It's not really that funny, but it's just, a, it's just kind of a touchstone that I come back to. It's like, oh, that guy's hitting on women, whatever. <laughs> and I am actually hitting on women. So it serves a double purpose. <laughs> so this particular night, there was a woman in the, in the front, there were two women, and, there, and the one that I was, that I was going after, she had the, like this, she had this, you know, cut off t-shirt on, this kind of like, it was like a Led Zeppelin t-shirt or something. She had tattoos on her arms, she had the black, the dyed black hair, and she had the like, the bright red lipstick, and she was really, you know, like, my type. <laughs> totally my type, the kind of woman that I am totally hot for, but is never hot for me. She's untouchable, you know? So I'm continuing throughout the show, and I'm like, hey, how you doing? That's pretty good. Do you like a guy like me? And it's getting laughs, because people are like, oh, of course she doesn't like a guy like you. And I'm like, well, could you? Could you like a guy like me? I'm like, come on, you, did, you know, your boyfriend, he, he, never, he didn't finish the screenplay, did he? No, he didn't, no, he didn't, All right. <laughs> it's not finished yet, he's never gonna finish it. And then, you know, she gets up and she goes to the bathroom and asking her friend, I'm like, so what do you think? This dude? And she's like, look, dude, she's got a boyfriend. And I'm like, oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Then she came back and she sat down again. I was like, hey, so she said you have a boyfriend. Is that true? And then the crowd was getting sick of me. They were like, dude, move on. <laughs> Guys were yelling out. They're like, get over it, dude, move on, whatever. And they're, and they're, not, they're not having fun anymore with my little thing. But I said, look, I'm going to continue it. I started on this tack, so I continue. So I continued throughout the show, and the audience was sick of me, and then the show ended, and I went out in the lobby, and then the woman came walking out with her friend, and I was like, hey, hey, thanks for letting me, you know, horse around the show. You know, I wasn't seriously hitting on everything. That's just what I do. <laughs> and she was like, oh, that's okay. You know, you were kind of cool, and I was just like, you know, I was kind of, uh, 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 oh, that's kind of, and she was like, and you know what? You know, it's kind of funny. It's like my boyfriend didn't finish the screenplay yet. I'm like, yeah, of course, exactly. <laughs> And so I'm talking to the woman, she's standing here like this, and in her little t-shirt, and, and, and she's, she is hot, this girl is hot, and guys are walking behind, and they're going like. <laughs> so I'm like, keep her in conversation, keep her here, because, you know, until at least the crowd goes out, so I can, you know, feel good. And every guy that's going by is like, dude. and then the guy's like, dude, that, guy's talk that girl's talking to that guy. That girl's into him. That shit works, man. Okay, then I'm like, uh, so it's, I said, I don't know if we can really hang around here. I said, let me just get paid and then I'll, uh, then, you know, I don't know, you wanna get a drink or something? She's like, yeah, yeah, let's go get a drink. So we go get a drink. We go over to McManus Pub, a couple, of, a couple of blocks over. It's freezing cold. We go over to McManus Pub. I buy three ales. We're sitting there drinking ale. And then she's like, she's really like getting chummy with me. And her friend is just kind of like, you know, looking elsewhere or whatever. And she's just, you know, whatever. and she's like, uh, I, gotta, um, I, I gotta go do that thing. I gotta, I gotta, um, she tells her friend, I gotta go pick up my bag. You know that purse I left at that other bar, you know, at the, at the red, the, you know, the, the red hat or something? And she's like, oh yeah, the red hat. Yeah, you gotta, oh yeah, you gotta pick up that purse you left. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go pick up my purse. And I'm like, well, let's have a beer here. No, no, I gotta go there now, I'll walk. No, no, wait, I'll take you in a cab. So we went over there, we get in a cab. The three of us, me and the girl sitting here and the other girls here, okay? I don't know what happened, like four or five blocks later, I'm making out with the girl. I'm making out with the girl in the cab. <laughs> she just leans over and she's like right here and I just start making out with her. Now that's where the story ends when I tell the guys, all right?